are going through a trim. So tell me about some of the features. Now we've got this create a custom link. What's all that about? Uh, that's that's a really big one. You know, we have the custom link where you can, you know, you can put enter whatever name you want. So for instance, they can say, all right, Collins Manor, whatever. So, you know, you copy the link, the URL you want to trim, and you can customize it to the name that suits you. But it's always advisable to customize it like you are branding something, like a brand name. Give it a nice name, you know, and when you click on trim, you can add alias as well if you want to, because alias is about differentiating. You know, you'll be, you'll be customizing a lot of different links. So we have O mail, O, uh, o net, o, o, o connect, and all of that. And you want to trim all of that. It's better to differentiate them, giving an alias. But the custom name is the name that will appear. So you say, all right, it's like you are shorting a name, but you give it a name that you think is suitable for you. You know, most of the link I've created, I've done is like, I give it Collins Manor 1. The next one I can give Collins Manor 2, or I can give C Manor. You know, that's the name I want to brand myself and my business. So I always use C Manor or, or whatever I want to do or Manor Call. You know, depending on which name I will use to brand myself. But it's about shutting it, shutting the link and then giving it a nice name. You know, so if I share that link out, they know, all right, I can resonate with this. People look at it and they say, all right, I can really read this and then click on it. You know, most of the, the URL, they are really ugly and nasty. Doesn't say anything. People think at look at it as, as a spam, you know. So you want to give it a nice name or a nice look and feel by okay, adding so, a name. So let, let's say, for example, we were doing an event like we did in Manchester. So we could do O trim forward slash forward slash Manchester. That that would be Great. our custom, custom link Great, for that yes. particular event. Now yeah. I also I also know that you can edit the link that you've you've put so i could change it from manchester one to manchester two correct yes yeah so yeah. um now when, when you're branding you can do these customizations specifically for a campaign so you've got these these details that go along with it what they call analytics so tell me a little bit more about the analytics that goes along with that so I, what I've done is I've created this custom link and it's for uh, golfing equipment. OK, I'm selling golfing equipment. So it's golf one. Yeah. And I do it for this particular um, uh, event that we're doing where we're, we're selling all of these things online. What do I get when I get on to the analytics? So now the analytics is just like, let's look at the 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 trim dashboard, we call it the dashboard. So the moment you share that link or the link is, you, you put the link out there, you can easily see where people are clicking, people of the same interest like you. So for instance, you said golf. Those who are looking for golf, they'll be clicking on it and you can see within the heat map, the areas that people are clicking. For instance, if they are all in the United States, you can see all of those clicks. There coming from there, the heat map so it covers those regions in green, and you can drill down, see the devices they use to click on that link, and you can look at the browsers. You know, some can use Chrome, Firefox, and this. So it tells you exactly which which browser they are using, which area they are coming. So you can see the region, the cities where they are clicking from. So what happened when it comes to marketing? They can. They can concentrate on that area and say, okay, this is the area that we think we can pinpoint. This is the area of interest where all of our customers, those who have the same interest like us, are coming from. That's the beauty about the analytics. Give you an overview of where the people of the same interest are coming. It can be marketing or, or other things. Now, now, my understanding is that if I set up, I've already got email. I'm going to set up a website. So, again, we'll take golf as an example because I like that. Okay, so so now I'm, I'm creating this website with um, golf holidays, uh, equipment, uh, clothing, and what have you. So my, my, 
my understanding is my website is now linked because I have a tracker to 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 this. But this one URL trimmer that we can use then gives us a good indication of exactly where people are clicking and it shows you uh, unique links. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So, so what's the difference then between unique clicks and this um, um, num total number? So total number can be, say, for instance, let me put it in a, in a layman way. And you go to a link, you click multiple times. The first time you click is unique. Okay. Right? You yeah, click one million times. You can say one million clicks happen, but the uniqueness of the click is just one time. You, Andy, click one time. Because you look at your device, it is Andy per device. But the total number of clicks you visited that site, total number of visit and total number of uniqueness is the right. you. One that you click multiple times. Okay, now we we we've got along on the on the bottom on our on our link um, with with Otrim. We've got several details. So one is the dashboard, and that dashboard gives you what you've just discussed. So it gives you those bits and pieces that um, tell you where people have clicked on. And, and what's interesting is um, it tells you, as you quite rightly pointed out, it tells you the mode of, of or whether it's tablet or phone or, or what have you. And I don't know about you, Collins, but certainly from um, uh, the ones that I have set up so far, everyone's using, oh, other way, the QR code because there's far more people going and using the phone than there is using you know a tablet or a desktop yeah. which is rather interesting so a lot of people are, are, are doing business on the phone they're scrolling through things yeah and it's very easy to set up a qr code so how would i do that how would i go about that when i've gone into o trim just give us a a, a yeah. quick run through so when you trim your link whatever link you're trimming business link or whatever there is a little icon underneath. You have a lot of icons, several icons. Just hover over, mouse over. It will tell you QR code. Click on it, and what will happen? It will pop up the, the, the QR code of the link that you've selected. So you oh, select okay. a link, you click on that. So the, on that link, you click, there's a QR code. Click on it, it pops up, and you can download it on your desktop. And then use it for whatever you want to use. You can put it like the way we've put this here, the QR code here. You can put it on your T-shirt. You can put it on the pen. Put it whatever. But at least it must be visible. Because as Andy said, people use their mobile phone more. They use QR, QR code scanner. For those who have scanner on their phone, the moment they click on it, the same information come up. It pops up. Blah 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 blah. Um, no information. I got a quick quick question then with the with, with the QR code. So I could download. Can I take that to a printer and get things put on the car, for instance, like stickers on the back of the car, or would it work on a T-shirt? If I if I printed it off and and worked like that, would somebody be able to to just use their mobile phone and go, oh, let's have a look at that. What's that all about? Yes, yes, Andy. That's it. That's that's QR code. So you can print it off. Take it to a to a to a to a t-shirt shop where you can say, okay, I want this QR code to be placed on maybe the right side or the left side of the back of my t-shirt, you know, and write a nice thing and say, scan me or whatever you want to put. Meet me here with a finger top. Somebody will just pass with the phone and, and scan it. You can put it on your car. Like the car racing we saw. How many of these? You see, there was QR code there. The motionless, yeah. The motionless uh, um supercars. Supercars. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. So what happened? Because people are curious. They'll scan it and say, oh, let me just scan it, you know. They do it, open their scanner and say, let me take a look. What's this about? And they, they scan it and there you go on passing and they can come into your business straight away. Fantastic. Okay, so tell me tell me a little bit about bulk trim. What does bulk trim do? What does it mean to us? So bulk trim is a very good feature. You know, you can download it's like you know you have so many trim you've trimmed a lot you have 50 say thousand you know you'll be trimming a lot with different alias i say all right i want to download this you know you have the custom bulk trim and you have the normal one that you've just trimmed you can switch between them click anyone click on the download button and 
all the URL that you've trained will just download on the folder. You can get it on one nice platform. It can be a million because remember, on passive is unlimited. But again, you can download everything. He said to select one and download it, select one, download it. Why not just go to Bug Trim and then download everything in one go? Okay, cool. So, uh, but I also saw um, that you can um, export your via a CSV file or, or a PDF the details of, of, of one so that it gives you that analytics and it, it so that you've got it on paper, for instance. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. you can, and you can upload as well. Through. Yeah. yeah. And you okay. So you can as upload well. as well. All yeah. right. Yeah. All right. So, um, we know, for instance, with certain of the social media platforms that there are um, potential issues with putting a trim link down. So if I put HTTPS colon forward slash for O trim and, and my custom link, that some of the social media platforms don't like that. Is that right? And can I get round that then using a QR code? Yes, most of the social media, they look at us virus, and sometimes they are suspicious of all of these things. You know, the QR code is much better because it doesn't show all of that. Because remember, even if it's not like, say, virus, they think like, why should you come to my business and promote another business? That's how they see it. That's what I'm thinking. Why should they block you? Because you are coming to your business and trying to promote another business. Say, oh, by the way, click on this this link http and remember most company they have like like a monetary system that says nobody should do this anyone who come with this particular thing block the person kick the person out the system just knock you out straight away but with qr code everything is hidden it's coded it's just a nice fancy flag we are saying need a scanner to scan so is it with that you you're covering yourself you say, okay, I can still promote here without sharing the physical link, you know, and which is beautiful because that is allowed. There's some of the things they say, no, 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 we don't want this. Depending on how the organization look at it and say, we don't want this. We don't know what they are doing. Whatever you're promoting, we don't want to get it. Okay, so it's a lot easier for me to, to you know, copy and paste my, my QR code into let's say a, a facebook post and then it can be it, it can be viewed okay yeah. cool are there any other things that you wanted to to mention about um otrim now before i let you do that because i'm going to talk a little bit further a little bit longer um <clears throat> i love the fact that if you go on most websites and you click on some document you've got this huge great url that you can never get to the end of Right. But but when we have our own websites and we've got something like that, we can just trim that link and put in the custom links. And so in and people remember these custom links. So, you know, who doesn't remember HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash O hyphen trim dot co forward slash Andy. I mean, you know, nice and simple. So so. Are there any other points that you wanted to, to, to cover in here? Because from a business perspective, th th this, is, this is free. So, again, let me cover the costs of the others, right? We know that there are, there's one called CLKIM, which is £10 a month or £70 a year, right? But it has limitations. Bitly is 35 a month. And three hundred per annum for premium. Okay, um, BI Inc. forty eight dollars a month, but has limitations. Ours doesn't have limitations. Um, Short .io, twenty a month has limitations. Brandly twenty nine a month, four hundred ninety nine for premium has limitations. Buffley fifteen a month. 199 for for media business uh, uh me, sorry a medium business and and they don't have the analytics with it to the same degree that we have do they no they don't i've checked some of them they don't they don't have it they don't have the analytics because as you can drill down right to the lowest level 
to know where your business is coming. So it's not about country, you can go to city and I believe with time, they can go even to the street, you know, and we look at it, there are more features which we didn't cover, but I just want to touch some point. You know, you can search by date. So you have multiple trims or say thousands of trims, trim URL. You can search by the date and you can search by what, by alias. So that's the beauty about the alias. So you can search by alias. And there are other things. We have the user guide, which is so beautiful. But remember, we can share it to social, other social media by clicking a button and it will tell you where do you want to share. You look at it, okay, I, I want this Twitter. Click on that and boom, there you go. Share it to, to, that, to those social media. Now, is... I, I, hopefully <laughs> by, by now, a lot of people would have understood that anybody that is involved in any form of marketing or sales would benefit from this and save themselves money. So um, if I'm a great one for lists, as you well know, everyone. So the, 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 the next list for O-Trim is all of these people that you know that have all run a business, a restaurant, an entrepreneur, a financial advisor, uh, a car salesman, all of these things could do with O-Trim. And it's free, people. It's free. So everybody would be able to use it. Okay. Yeah, Andy, and Andy, there's one thing with the custom, like we, we talk about the limitation of that. On passing with the custom URL, on passing give more you know, when it comes to customization than the others, which I will not reveal the numbers. If you want, go in and use it. You will see the, 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 the number of, of characters or whatever the, 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 the numbers that on passive is giving when it comes to customization. The rest, they give eight. Some of them just give eight and that's it, maximum. Wow. So if your name has, your name is longer than eight characters, you, are, you, are, you, you can't. The passive give more than that, more than. Wow, okay. 